She betrayed America's ally, and Kamala Harris stabbed Israel in the back and sided with the radical fringe of her party, only for political gain, maybe for personal gain. She betrayed America's ally, and Kamala Harris stabbed Israel in the back and sided with the radical fringe of her party, only for political gain, maybe for personal gain. And instead of pandering to the jihad sympathizers and America-hating radicals, we will deport them. We will deport them very quickly. And I stand before you tonight thanks to the power of prayer and the grace of Almighty God. As I think you can see, I've recovered well and, in fact, just took off the last bandage off of my ear. Uh, uh. I just got it off. Harris will appoint hundreds of extreme far-left judges to forcibly impose crazy San Francisco liberal values on Americans nationwide. She'll appoint hardcore Marxists to the Supreme Court to shred our Constitution on all of our religious liberty. She will do that, absolutely. She will try as hard as she can to add as many justices as possible to the U.S. Supreme Court. In other words, she wants to pack the court, which is their number one agenda, and we can't let that happen. We're not going to let that happen. We're not going to have anybody added. We're going to do it the way we've done it for many, many years. That's really a stopper. It's a stopper. The Supreme Court. We don't want to have an electric car where everybody has an electric car that doesn't go far, is made in China, <laughs> costs too much. And by the way, and I want to thank Elon Musk for endorsing me, by the way, I have to tell you. And I said, you know, Elon, remember, I love electric cars. I think your car is great. I love it. But it's not for everybody. And we had it recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. It was a great thing. It was a great day, actually. I also recognized Israeli sovereignty over the Golan Heights. I never even said I was going to do it. I mean, the fact is, I've done more for Israel by far than any other president. Not even close. By contrast, Kamala Harris stabbed Israel in the back in its great hour of need. Two days ago, she refused to attend the speech in Congress of the Prime Minister of Israel. She said, oh, I can't make it. Within days of the heinous October 7th attack on Israel, Kamala Harris praised the anti-Israel protesters. You saw that, right? She praised them. She betrayed America's ally and sided with the radical fringe of her party, only for political gain, maybe for personal gain, I don't know. And this week, many of those Kamala Harris supporters burned American flags in the heart of our nation's capital and desecrated our monuments. Did you see? They sprayed very powerful spray paint. Well, what's happening to these people that have done serious damage? Have they been, have they been arrested? Are they in jail now, like the January 6 hostages? Uh, and when are they letting them out? You know, we had a great Supreme Court ruling four weeks ago, that really will, should let most of them out. When are they coming out? They're still there. When are they coming out? Unlike liberal Kamala, I will support Israel's right to win its war on terror. You have to support that. <laughs> got to win. Got to finish it off. And instead of pandering to the jihad sympathizers and America-hating radicals, we will deport them. We will deport them very quickly. We have no choice. We've become a dumping ground for the entire world. In Venezuela, crime is down 72 percent. Do you know that Caracas, Venezuela, was one of the most crime-ridden cities in the world? Now it's safe because they've taken those criminals, they've taken those drug dealers, they've taken their prisoners, and they've moved them into the United States. Large numbers, and the rest are coming. But they're not coming with me. We're going to get them the hell out of here, all of them.